This whole valley is terrorized by that gang. Not one of you in this room dares refuse to pay tribute. Anyone doing business finds it cheaper to pay than fight. <laughs> and a lot healthier. Now they can be licked if we all stand together. The pen is still mightier than the sword or the six gun. I'll rouse the decent people to organize and fight for their rights. The law hasn't been able to do anything. The law can't help folks if they won't help the law. Every time I arrest one of the collectors for that gang, I've got to turn them loose. No one will appear against him. I suppose you mean me. Well, you could have helped me get a conviction. Of course I could. But you couldn't have kept me from being murdered. And that's what happened to Joe Carson. And that's what we're up against. I don't blame Horner. I'm not blaming anyone, but I'm in this fight to a finish. I won't stop till that gang is wiped out. First and last warning. Keep your nose out of what is none of your business or they'll be hanging crepe on your door. The Protective Association. You've your family to think of. You'd better drop this fight, Garrett. This part of the family's in the fight with him. And they'll know they've been in a fight. Who's doing all the fighting? I'll bet our note gave that newspaper guy something to think about. He'd better think. Hi, Shorty! Shorty! I'm a-coming! We'll kick in with your donation. Well, business has been pretty rotten lately, and I thought... That's better than not having any business. I'll be around again next month. Shoot. What do you mean by hiding here and spying on us? I wasn't spying. Don't you lie to me. I'm not a liar and I'm not a spy. You trying to be smart? I didn't know he was there. Kids are always playing around the board. That better be true. What were we talking about? I don't know. I didn't hear you. I'm going to make sure of that. He didn't mean any harm. You stay out of this. This is your last chance. Please don't hit me. Please don't. I told you the truth. I didn't hear a thing. Please don't hit me. Ow. Please don't hit it. Don't, don't hit me! I told you the truth! Please, don't! Ow! Oh, please, don't quit it! You're gonna be stubborn, are you? Get out of here before I lose my temper. You started something you're gonna find mighty hard to finish. Well, I don't think so. Anybody than a horse grip a kid can't be much of a job for a man to handle. Now get out! Who is this boy? That's Garrett's kid. Who is he? Editor of the Weekly Star. Officers are down the street. Say. Better watch your step. Them two fellas bad. So is an overripe egg. Open the door, please. Oh, what happened to him? He fell and bumped his head, but I don't think there's anything to worry about. Put him on the couch, please. But there, I get some water. How did he get hurt? A couple of no good hombres tried to beat him with a buggy whip. Any idea who the men were? No, I'm a stranger in town. But why should they want to hurt Jerry? I have a pretty good idea. Hey. 
Are you all right, Terry? Sure, I'm all right. You should have seen him pop those big boys. <laughs> you weren't the bad yourself, old timer. It was worth getting a little bump to see you go into action. We owe you a big debt of gratitude. My name's Garrett. Mr. Bradley. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. My daughter, Betty. How do you do? My name is Jeff Hayes. Just passing through? Well, no, I kind of figure on going into business here. Well, I'm mighty glad to hear that. I'm glad, too. We need men of action around here. Thanks. And I figure on giving the boys plenty of action. Well, good day. Ain't it swell? He's going to stay. Isn't. Not ain't. Isn't it rain? It's still swell. All right, boys, let's get the rest of that stuff. Hi, pal. Hello. What's this? Well, my boy, this is an altar of the goddess chance. You put down a dollar, and if you can make a smile, you'll get back 35 more. Gee. Round and round she goes. Nobody knows. Miss Betty. Jeff's been showing you how to work this thing. Sure is swell. Is this your business? Well, yes. I know it isn't much, but... Come on, Jerry. Oh, gee, sis, that was lots of fun. You don't understand. Decent people don't have gamblers as their friends. Oh, gee. All right, fellas. Bring the rest of the stuff inside. Jeff? What do you want, this boss? Put it on the dice table. A fellow by the name of Jeff Hayes figures on reopening the games in here. He's back there now. Yeah, I'll have a talk with him. Hey, you. Where's the boss? You're talking to him. Oh, so you're back for more, huh? Well, I'm always willing to oblige. I'll settle that some other time. I'm here to tell you, you can't do business unless you join the Protective Association. Who said so? Never mind about that. Join and save yourself trouble. I'll take care of any trouble that comes my way. The tin horn running these games just ahead of you had the same idea. Yeah, and they planted him in Boot Hill. I'm not asking you to join. I'm telling you. And I'm busy, and you're in the way. Now get out! All right, you ask for it, fella. You're gonna get it. Get out! What's all the fighting about? Go away. Hey, hey. That was a fool play. You can't fuck this gang. What do you mean? Well, they've wiped out everyone who's tried. Who's the leader of this gang? That's something no one knows. These fellas collect what they call donations. And if you don't pay up, it's just too bad. One dog can drive a herd of sheep. But I thought folks out here sit on their hind legs and carry guns. Hey, boy. Put this poker table in that corner. I kind of like to sit with my back to the wall so as to keep out of the draft. You're either a fool or a mighty brave man. When you make up your mind, let me know. It won't make much difference. I don't think you're going to live very long.
Hey, boy. Come up here. Move this table over here. Picking up a lot of fuss with his newspaper. The boss is about ready to crack down. Why worry about a newspaper? It can't shoot. It can make other people shoot. And if he doesn't pull in his horn, he's in for a lot of trouble. Hello, oh, Dirt. Hello, oh, Blackie. Blackie. Yeah, new tin horn is opening the game at McClure's place. A fellow by the name of Jeff Hayes. Did you see him? Did we? I'll say we did. What about it? He refuses to pay. The boss won't like that. The first outfit I ever worked for didn't know who the boss was. If you want to stay healthy, you won't even get curious. I wasn't trying. Yeah, you better not. We get our orders, that's all we gotta know. Shut up. What about this Hayes fellow? Well, we started to lay the law down to him when he got the drop on us and throw us out. Now, ain't that swell. If we let him get away with it, it'll be tough trying to keep the others in line. Looks like a job for you, Blackie. Suits me. Yeah, but we got something else to worry about. This newspaper bird is holding a mass meeting to stir things up. Oh, yeah? Well, let's help him stir. Hi, old-timer. Sit down. Tell me about yourself. Please, Jeff, do me a favor. Sure. Teach me to be a gambler like you. Now, listen, you don't want to be a gambler. See, I'll teach you something really worth knowing. What's that? How to rope a steer. You know, a top cow hand rates far above a gambler. You ever get to be a Rodeo champion? Boy, what a kick. Gee, that's swell. What's the matter, Betty? You know, Dan, I think we'd ought to keep Jerry away from that Jeff Hayes. Garrett, if I was you, I'd pull off this mass meeting. What do you mean? When you're fighting bushwhackers, you don't ride along the skyline. You fight them undercover. That's not my way. If you can't fight the way the others fight, you'd better... Wait. I like you, but I don't like your business. I don't care for advice from a gambler. Here's my advice, whether you like it or not. Don't leave your gun at home. Nobody on it, nobody wins. All I get your money down. Nobody's on the wrong little little ball. Nobody knows. 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 Pharaoh and roulettes for women and children. Poker's the only game for man. Yeah, that's the way I feel about it. Is Garrett holding his mass meeting tonight? Yep. Folks turn out pretty good. Is Garrett there? Hmm? Sure. Oh, I don't know. I never seen him. I'm going to find a good seat up front. Yes, and I'm going to keep my ears and eyes open. I'm going to right now. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, 
like the folks mean business. All right. Ah, good evening, Mr. Petty. Good evening. You going to play for us? I'm going to do my best. Okay. We have a long ways to play. Now we're going to have a game. Yeah, I'd like to play some more too. You were telling me your granddaddy was fast on the draw. Hmm? Could he beat this? Of course, that's just a sample. That's a bad with my left hand either. I sent the crowd out so that no one would get hurt. Now, if you crave a fight, make it now, or get out and stay out. Wait. Boys, all right. You're filling up. You won't get a seat. Well, let's go in. Buddy. I know you run with that gang. You've got the wrong men, Sheriff. I was standing in front of the saloon watching them when the shot was fired, and I know they didn't do it. Why do you defend them? Because I know they're innocent this time. You don't seem to care whether you get the right man or not, so long as you can grab someone and hang something on him. That's much easier than trying to find the real killer or the head of the gang. I've been suspicious of you ever since you first came to town. So what? My advice to you is to watch your step. You're the one that's slipping, not me. Besides, I have no respect for anybody that won't fight back when they're hit.
What's the idea, Mac? What does that mean? Had to close you up, Jeff. Anything to do with the Protective Association? I'm not saying anything. I see. Well, you don't need to. If that's the game they like, I'll play it with them. Give me another drink. So long, Mac. So long, Jeff. You got four head of stock on this place. Let's have your protection money. Why, we'd hardly make a living. Have you leave us in peace? Don't the big ranches pay enough? Sure they do. But we got fair and treat everyone the same. Come on, you're wasting our time. You better give them what you have. Ah, now you're talking sense. For a sheep herder. Maybe it does taste a mite funny. It's because we use the grounds over two and three times. Did <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? They use those coffee grounds over two or three times. <laughs> Turn around and put your guns on that table. You'll be so kind, I'll take all the money you've collected for me. What's this, hijacking one of my bosses? You can call it whatever you like. And as far as your boss is concerned, he's going to pay for closing me out of business. The gang will crack down. Give me that money. Keep coming. I'm back up. Sounded like you were having a lot of fun before I came in. Now hit the leather and don't start to reload. A big girl like you crying. Here, Pa, you better take care of her before she gets a shiny nose. He had his cover? We didn't have a chance. He took every cent. That's the fifth time he's done it. Fellas, you've got to handle him. Not me. I can fight anything human, but chain lightning's out of my class. I'd feel a lot better if he was with us instead of against us. Maybe you've said something. But you can't take him in. It might be cheaper to do that than fight him. How do you know he'll play with us? He's a gambler. He'll play any game worthwhile. I'll take it up with the boss. Just the same, I don't trust him. And then they made a cowardly attempt to murder my father. But the fight goes on just the same. And we learn from past mistakes. When you're fighting a bushwhacker, you don't ride along the skyline. You fight from undercover. How do you figure to fight from undercover? With the secret band of vigilantes. Hang every man known to be in the gang. That should soon finish their collectors. Every member of that committee would be marked for death as soon as he was known. No one is forced to join. Anyone who would rather pay blackmail than fight? I'd rather put any chance at all. Sure. Right. 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 See you later, Johnny. 
Pick him up. I got you covered. I give up, Sheriff. Don't shoot. You can put your hands down, but don't try any monkey business. <laughs> That's a mighty fine catch, son. Someday you're going to make a real Sheriff. Why are you and Betty mad at each other? Well, we're not mad. It's just that she doesn't understand some things, that's all. Yeah, women are like that. Maybe you're right. Where are you going? I think I'll ride out and see if I can find myself a coyote pup. I know where there's a den. Oh, please don't go without me. I'll get my horse. We're here. I'd like to have a talk with you. What about? You know, you're headed for trouble cutting in on a protective association. I'll take my chances. Well, why take a chance when you don't have to? What do you mean? They're willing to take you in with them. Why? Because they can always use a gunfighter like you. I'm not interested in fighting for anyone but myself. They'll make it well worth your while. That being the case, I'm willing to listen. Fair enough. Let's go. Yes! Yes! I'm ready! You rode away. Where'd he go? Out that way. Oh, okay. Jeff Hayes. I believe some of you already know him. Hi, boys. Well, Chiquita. If you'd only had a rose stuck back in one ear, you'd made a swell high-stepping senorita. Oh, lay off, will you? Come on, Hayes. We've got business to talk over. Hey, what did he mean by that? I'll write you. Now here's the monthly tape. And your cut will be 10%. Why take 10? I'm making 100 now. Is that the best you can do? Well, yes. I've got a nice place here, but I must leave. Hold on. Now we can get together. Jeff! Jeff! Well, who is this boss that gets the big cut? You? No. Who is it? Well, now that's something you shouldn't worry about. Oh. Drinking violet, huh? No, poison ivy. Hey, Jeff! Where are you, Jeff? Hey, Jeff! Hayes is one of us, boys. There may be a job for you, fellas. The Carter outfit has refused to pay. They'll pay before we get through with them. I'll meet me at McClure's tonight. I'll give you orders.
Well, that's who you're looking for, huh? Yeah, we were going hunting for a coyote pup. He went away without me. Oh, well, that's too bad. You come with me. I know where he is. Gee, that's swell. bring the kid here for? Well, what do you think? Sure, don't you get it? That's right. Now we can shut up that newspaper for good. Yeah, let them bring on their vigilantes. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, who do you think I am? Your nurse? Get away from me. That certainly was a smart play. They'll dance any tune we whistle as long as we've got the kids. <laughs> yeah, well, we yeah, didn't do. Know. I know a lot of tunes. Hey, Joe. Yeah. You stay here and watch the kid. And go easy with him. Jerry. Have you seen him? I ain't seen hiding the hair of him all day. Go out and see if you can find him for me, will you? Oh, that kid's gonna drive me to drink yet. Never get no rest at all. It ain't one day it's the middle of the night you have to go with a kid. I'll get a fire and you just get in the It ain't right that I should run all over the United States looking for a runaway kid. I'm a printer. I ain't no nursemaid. I bet if I had a kid of my own, he'd be home in bed by this time. Uh, he ain't here nowhere. That kid's gonna drive me to drink. Drink? A little nightcap. Oh, come on, fellas. Let's don't play anymore. All right. <laughs> Uh oh. Look. Hey, let, let me have this. What's this? Confound them pesky mosquitoes at this time of year. <laughs> Say, boy, look who's coming. Hey, this is one time the sheriff is going to get it. Somebody in this place ought to be in a kindergarten. <laughs> Your turn. That's the first time I've ever seen the law stampeded with a hunk of paper. <laughs>
Sheriff, have you seen Jerry? No. Well, I'm afraid something's happened to him. What could have? Kids never do know when it's time to come home. Now, don't worry, Miss Betty. If I see him, I'll send him right on home. Thank you. Good evening, Miss Betty. How's your father? Well, he's doing pretty well. Won't you come in? I want to talk to you. Certainly. Hey, now we'll find out what our orders are. Say, if you hadn't the brains, you'd get your orders straight from the board. Yeah, I know who he is. You better shut up about that. Who says so? I do. <laughs> So what I say, I say. The boss is no better than you or me, and I'll tell him so. That's it. Uh, I gotta go out and get a little air. Uh, hey, I, I need some air. New man is drunk, talking wild, claims he knows who you are. Looks to me like a trick. And you walk straight here. Haven't you got any better sense than that? eye on Bradley. What'd you say? What's the matter, Tom Puss? Why don't you smile? <laughs> Tell the sheriff to keep his eye on Bradley. Huh? I was doubtful of him from the start. But you said it was okay. I know, but he looks dangerous. He'd better not come back from that Carter raid. Here. Have that note delivered. Come on, Hayes. I got a job for you. Deliver this note to Betty Garrett at the Weekly Star, and don't let anyone see it. The vigilantes are raring to go if you can show them some action. There's still plenty to do. We'll start the minute we know who to go after. To see your brother, disband the vigilantes and stop your fight. Jeff Hayes delivered this note. I saw him. I round up the boys for you by morning. He said to tell the sheriff to keep his eye on me. No. He said to tell Bradley to keep the sheriff's eye. Wait a minute. Now, he 
He said to tell the sheriff that Bradley's eye will keep Bradley's eye on the sheriff. Oh. I'd show him what it means to try and beat the Protective Association. Men, take them into town. Let's see. He said to tell the sheriff to keep his eye. Uh, keep, uh, uh, keep whose eye on what? Uh, to keep the... That's it. Bradley. The gang ran into an ambush. Some of the double crossers. Jeff Hayes. Did he get away? I don't know. Jeff told me to tell you to keep the eye on the sheriff. We'd better get out of here. What about the rest of the stuff at the cave? We'll pick that up on the way. Bradley. I don't know. He, he said something might go into a cave. That gun. Drop that gun, I tell you. Don't come any closer, I'll shoot. Where do you think you're going? Get outside and keep your eyes open. We've got to take him along. He'll cover our getaway. Pick 
comes Jeff Hayes now. We'll soon find out where Jerry is. Take his gun. What? Don't stop me now. I'm after Bradley. Bradley's got nothing to do with this. We know you've loaned that gang. Where's my brother? He's all right. Don't worry about him. What's Bradley got to do with it? He's the leader of the gang, and he's making his getaway. Oh, that's only a stall to save your neck. Listen, you've got to believe me. Why should I? Explain it to him, Sheriff. Hold on, man. Jeff's an old friend of mine. Why, I sent for him to help break up this gang. He did say he was going after Bradley. Well, if he said that, we're going after Bradley, too. Come on, man. Just went over the cliff with Bradley. Boys, get after that wagon. Nice work, Jeff. You know, there were times when you had me thinking you were a real gambler. I don't want to ever do it again. Why not? You wouldn't understand. Decent people don't have gamblers among their friends. Well, I'm terribly sorry. I guess I owe you an apology. Well, that's all right. They got me, Sheriff. They went that way. Oh, Sheriff, do something. Can't you see he's hurt? Come on, Jerry. Let's get him. <laughs> 